Okay, the arrow goes from the village of Corbin border to the takeoff point. And this is uh, Marsh Bend Trail to the southern boundary of Well Point near the substation. And McNeil Drive goes from Marsh Bend Trail all the way to Route 470. Then we dip into Oak Hollow, a little bit of Eden Field, and then um, we will see Gr uh, Green Grove Hill in the distance, and Water's Edge is beyond East Point. So we're taking off at the uh, Village of Corbin border, where Corbin Trail comes into it. The road's blocked off there, but of course you can get to it from Corbin, the village of Corbin. And we're looking south now, and you can see McNeil Boulevard, or McNeil, McNeil Drive in the distance. McNeil Drive is going west, I'm sorry, east to west at this point. See, the walls are up for the villas. That's McNeil Drive. McNeil Drive goes all the way from Marsh Bend Trail, as I showed you, down to Route 470. All the roads are in here in this northern section. The section north of McNeil Drive is the only section that's complete, ready for slabs. The section, as you see, south of McNeil Drive, looking straight ahead toward Eastport, is not complete. The roads are not all in yet. So you got Beyond Eastport's Water's Edge, which uh, I'll show you in my next video, which I've already shot. Looks like they're getting ready for roads there as well and ready for slabs. So there, it looks like they're attacking it from the north, from Well Point, and then from the south, from Moultrie Creek and Shady Brook and Water's Edge north. And they'll meet in the middle. So all these roads are done. Uh, you can get the road names off of the uh, Sumter County GIS map. I'll put a link to that in the description. That's Marsh Bend Trail. Straight ahead you see the cars on it right at the tree line. To the right is the village of Corbin. And we're, you'll see the circle coming into view with uh, of Corbin uh, McNeil Drive and Marsh Bend Trail. So these are ready for slabs. You see some more walls going up here. So I'm flying about 150 feet up above any power lines, which are, are hard to see. And um, I'm sure the drone won't pick them up either with its obstacle avoidance. Now we're looking south. And you see coming into view there is the um, substation, which is the boundary of Well Point. So this part of Well Point is really not complete. This one road is in, and that's about it. We're going to turn left or east and head back toward Corbin Trail. But I think we go a little further south. So this part of Well Point is not complete. It's the northern section above McNeil Drive that's uh, ready for slabs. And I guess we're going over the Oak Hollow Golf Course. If your golf balls are allergic to water, this is probably not the course for you. Now we're looking kind of northeast. We're heading uh, south, but looking northeast. We're going a little bit into Oak Hollow. This has got a ways to go yet. You see the roads, are, uh, the development and the housing, the lots are starting to appear. Here are some of the water features of the golf course. That's uh, what Oak Hollow looks like, the village on the map. And that's uh, McNeil Drive on the left, coming back into view, in the village of Corbin, just at the upper left-hand corner. 
We're heading kind of like east-northeast at this point toward Corbin Trail, which is not quite done south of McNeil Drive. And Corbin Trail, of course, goes all the way to Eastport. It's the northern boundary of Eastport. So all these roads are going to be make a fairly good connection. You'll be able to travel all over. Once you get on the other east west side of the turnpike, you'll be able to connect to Marsh Bend Trail through either McNeil Drive or, or uh, take Corbin Trail for part of the way as well. Of course, Corbin Trail goes all the way up into Corbin, the village of Corbin, and comes out onto Marsh Bend Trail. Now, when we cross over Corbin Trail, we'll be in We'll be in Edenfield. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, you can see the turnpike. And then just on this side of the turnpike is another golf course. And we're going to go over the um, clubhouse for that golf course. And this is a little ways away before they put some slabs down. They have they don't have the roads in here yet. You can almost see where they belong, but where they will be, but uh, they're not here yet. And we're looking pretty much east. You see the turnpike traveling northwest to southeast. And we're gonna curve to the left and you'll start to see the some water hazards and um, clubhouse. I believe that's the clubhouse. Again, we're in the, uh, in the village of Edenfield right now, and in, in the distance, you see Well Point, bordered on the north by the village of Corbin and the south by Oak Hollow. Now we're looking east uh, from Edenfield to, to um, Well Point. So somebody asked me in one of my videos what those tall buildings were in the distance. I think that's a sand factory and a quarry for stone. Now we're looking south. We're going to pan around. You'll see Eastport, Water's Edge in the distance. That's the turnpike looking down toward um, I guess Route 470, Central Parkway. So the Corbin Trail, which runs left to right here, we're approaching, that's the uh, eastern boundary of Well Point. And on this side of that is uh, Edenfield. I think McNeil Boulevard is pretty much done. It goes all the way down to Route 470. And if you look at my prior video, I show where it intersects uh, Route 470. Now we're going to looking at the village of Corbin and where, the, where I uh, took off with the drone. So thanks for watching. Leave comments, click like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just ask, and I'll try to answer. Thanks again. They have so much land to develop. It'll happen sooner than you think. Thanks again.